From Stavropol region, Artur Mirakian. Hello, everyone. As I've mentioned, how will I be given the clicker? Thank you, our magic clicker. Hello, everyone. Like Andre said, I opened a pizza restaurant under my own brand. Then I joined the pizza brand. I will explain why I did that and what was the outcome. Many partners so started their way together with Dodo. After reading that blog, I was no exception. When I started at school back in 2011, I saw that blog, and the further was doing that blog uh, of further for five years. I read it in two days. You just to need to read business blogs, and you will become a cool business guy. Uh, I would like to make my presentation. Uh, in the format of Instagram blog. A uh, cell by uh, 20 years of age, uh, I uh, lost all of my money uh, with an agency to organize romantic uh, meetings. And of course, there are very few romantic people in this small city, and there are less people who are ready to pay for dates. So that's why I went bankrupt with that project. So, this is what I organized. Uh, after that, it, I had the project on the rent of a cafe uh, in the suburbs of the city, uh, near a cemetery. Uh, so, uh, at uh, some point of time, uh, so there were criminals uh, chasing me and they wanted to get money out of me. They didn't understand anything about the business and uh, they could not understand that in this cafe there was not enough money even for me only. And, uh, and then after the blog, I went to St. Petersburg, I did train at Papa Joe's and then I would come back uh, to my city and open a pizza restaurant. I was not impressed by Papa John's, um, though it was cool experience. Uh, then I started to look at Dode uh, Pizza. I traveled to Ulyanovsk and did the training. And I wanted to be uh, to buy the franchise, and I had to use credits and franchise uh, costs. Uh, um, quite a lot compared to opening a new brand. I um, took a credit of 3.5 million and opened the Jerry Pizza restaurant. All of my thoughts and ideas were so positive, and I just uh, read Fyodor's blog. He opened 27 pizza restaurants uh, in very few years, and then I realized I could do 10. It was not so good, because we could hardly cover for the credit costs, and only in three years' time we could just have some money for the next project. And then the most exciting uh, things started to happen. Pitigorsk is very close. This is a, a tourist destination with big population. That was a cool city to start a next project. I thought of opening Jerry Pizza there, but I understood uh, Jerry didn't have a system that was only about enthusiasm. If I travel there to open Jerry Pizza in uh, Pitigorsk, then in Ivinamisk I will lose in terms of quality and revenue and profit, of course. And then there was an information uh, that it was booked for a Dodo pizza by somebody and then this person uh, quit it. And, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, then I called Andrei uh, Pitilin, I explained him the situation, I told him uh, that I had an operating pizza restaurant, 
that I wanted to open the other pizza in Pitygorsk, and he, he told me no problem, but uh, then we need to change your pizza restaurant. Can you imagine my pizza restaurant? It took me so many pains to open, it was profitable finally, and all of the city loves that pizza restaurant. I had to change it for a Dota brand, and I had to analyze how many advantages I will get from Dota pizza, how many headaches I will forget about, sorry from season uh, products and quality control, and finally I decided to open a pizza, uh, close down the pizza restaurant in Nivinovitsk and completely change it uh, to uh, Dodo pizza. And initially we agreed to make it uh, uh, with minimal investment, 2.5 million, only uh, some refurbishment. Then I flew to Siktivkar, I saw their growth. Uh, while I was uh, repaying my credit of 127 rubles per month, they became a big network and uh, I decided not to refurbish the pizza restaurant and change everything there to uh, change places between kitchen and the uh, hall. Uh, we spent 7.5 million rubles and I never regretted about doing so because the maximum revenue at Jerry was 1.4 million. I thought that we would be able to earn 3 million maximum. We were able to make 5.2 million, so that was our record revenue. So what about Piatigorsk, if you still remember about it? As for this resort town, in 2018 we started looking for a location and investors because we spent all our available resources, we could not find either. Locations there are very expensive. Well, it was expensive for me, maybe not for you guys from Moscow. So 2.5 thousand per square meter, it was a lot, although in Nivinomisk rent was 450 rubles per square meter, quite a difference. So we were thinking what to do, we were looking for any good location, and they say that if you fail at something for a long time, you need to go to an island to write dot on the sand, make a photo, post it on Instagram, that's what I did. and. When I was on vacation, I got a call from an investor and he asked, are you Arthur? I said, yes. He said, I am investing in your pizza place without asking any questions. It's a miracle. You know, I have I had never raised investments before and I was stunned. And uh, you may ask, how on earth could it be possible? And on the same day, I got a call from the headquarters saying that they found a location in uh, the top on the top street. I flew to Pedigorsk immediately. I was introduced to the owner of this place. It was a 65-year-old woman. We went to Nivenomisk where I treated her with pizza. She introduced me to all of her relatives. I don't know how about you guys, but this is the tradition of concluding business agreements at the Caucasus region. So, for three years I've been renting the place in Nivinomisk, and you know, this agreement in legal terms was no good. I actually downloaded the template from internet, and in uh, Pitegorsk we found a lawyer he was not the most expensive one, probably not the best in his class. However, we got a certificate, and uh, this is a certificate of state registration, and we started construction. And at that point, I found out that in order to find out the situation or status of your location, you need to order an inquiry. And that's what I did, and I found out that this location was split into small parts, and uh, there were lots of uh, lawsuits against some of these parts, and my mistake cost me 3 million rubles, and I was so sad, and I thought I read so many blogs of 
famous business service and still I could not avoid mistakes. Well, in 2019, January, there was available location in the another resort city, Mineralne Vody, where we were able to open a restaurant. In the first month, we were able to earn 2.4 million rubles, and this is a city with population of 170,000 people with uh, average monthly income of 25,000 rubles. And uh, typically this revenue is uh, at, it is for larger towns with population of 100, sorry, 700,000 rubles. But we made it in that small place. How about Petigorsk? We were holding negotiations with the owner so she would settle all her legal disputes, but it did not work out. We found another top location. Pa um, painted in pink, that's my favorite color and favorite size, 250 square meters. It took us half a year to sign an agreement on renting the space. We hired the best lawyer, we paid him lots of money, but we wanted to avoid any mistakes. In April 2020, the lockdown started and I looked at my bank account and uh, I saw the declining I saw the decline in revenue and I could see that my money was uh, flying away and I thought what was going on well it turned out that small towns uh, can be not only a disadvantage but an advantage as well because there you have low rents you have also short distances in terms of delivering your product. And I can tell you that by improving efficiency, we were able to increase EBITDA by 9%. How were we able to do it? By using blogs. We came across Yuri Kostin blog and Vladislav Ivashenko blog in Instagram. We adopted the approach on a weekly basis. We started using metrics and uh, we had planning meetings with our administrating administrators by planning each and every prog problem in every pizza restaurant. Within one month we were able to decrease labor cost, unit cost, and as I said, we have increased EBITDA within one month by 9%. Quite a, an achievement. How about Pertigorsk? Finally, we were able to finish our construction and repair works. It happened in April 2020, but then we could not get gas supply. We waited for three months, and a week ago, finally, the gas pipe uh, was uh, extended to this restaurant, and finally, it is up and running, and in August we are planning to reach 8 million rubles of turnover, and how will we do it? I will explain it in my Instagram account. So, all in all, I started my business by reading Fyodor's blog, then we also started reading blogs of Peter's partners, we became more systemic in our approach, we became more efficient, and we improved the business by starting our own blog. That made it easier to attract people, to attract investments. As you develop your content plan, you start analyzing what's going on in your business, and uh, you identify some weak points and gaps. Of course, you don't want to talk about bad things, you want to talk about achievements only, that's why you are always motivated to work hard. So guys, create your blogs and uh, give me the link and I will be eager to read.